here is the BF109 F4 by Eduardo review. I did mention I was going to do an inbox review of this kit. I'm going to get this started on the road to building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do separately is uh, do an inbox review. So for those who look at the, for the kit, you got to see what you're going to get in the box. Right, so another thing. It's a brand new kit from Edward, released last month, about three weeks ago. Uh, what does it say? Item number for the box is 82114. Uh, Czech Republic, Edward dot com 148 scale it's a profi pack edition that means you get all the nice little extras in there so just having a look around the box not much really into there apart from the ones at the bottom on the side you get there to build so it's a nice coverage apart from there so typical Edwards tight box get off lid beautiful box art anyway I forgot to mention so, uh, so you got your instructions. They should be at the bottom. So I've just had a look at. So it's instructions. You have got two bags of sprues and your yeah, decals and your yeah, photo etch and masks sets there. So yeah, so let's uh, have a look at the instructions first off. Put that to put these to one side down there. So start the, the kit instructions. Um, I think uh, Edward used the kind of the same um, instruction information as what they do in the other one, just the history of the Y9, like to vet through the ages, and that's that. So I read English and check. We got there. Of course, we've got our first page, which is the colour call out. So it's actually the thick paper that um, Edward used now to show the kit stuff. It's actually a fair bit of plastic that I don't use in this kit. Very weird and strange. Anyway, you've got your colour call outs down there, your part call outs. Uh, of course, like many kits, uh, we start off with a cockpit tub going there, with your um, parts in the chain, for the photo etch going to there, to the tub. Now, this part, I think it was an air hose, but this is actually a very This is a clear part, this is, so you have to paint that on there. So then you can move down to your seat going in, your armour plating going in, uh, your cannon rounds. Uh, you have an option whether to have plastic foot pedals or photo etch foot pedals there going there. Of course your, your photo etch harnesses and chain going there for your flat um, thingies. I can't remember what it's called now. Rotary gear. Going down here now there is actually if you choose to do this, to, to remove some photo etch, actually for this radio compartment, it looks so nicely moulded. I don't really want to remove that. So you get the choice where you want to do that. Go into there, more controls going on there. So the radio sets inside. You've got the uh, instrument panel. Now you can either do this uh, one piece moulded, or you can have the photo etch going in. And personally, I'm going to have the photo etch on because it looks better. Excuse me, just a um, but So then we go down to the cowling, uh, that goes on the front there. You've got your exhaust going in just like that. Um, Bounce things, yeah. Just have a look here. Right, you get two different ones you can either do for the um, exhaust covers. You can either have your exhaust covers on or exhaust covers off. It's up to you. But you'll have to look through the kits which one you want to do, like the schemes. So the tail wheel goes down in there to the bottom. That's going to be a bit annoying, that is, because it could easily break off. So yeah, that's a bit bad. On the other side, you get your different wires. What about you want to put your air intakes, um, some Parts. I don't know what that's for. Let's go across the top there. Some air, yeah, of course, you get air intakes now. You get two different ones where you want to do normal ones or you have a filter ones for the desert schemes. There, going on to the bottom, we've got the, the elevators and tail fin going on in there. The control surfaces uh, looks like you got wings going on here. Um, 
You've got your wheel wells going on in there. Now you have to drill them out for marking marking options E, which we'll see in a minute. So I think that has a bomb on it. I think I don't know. Anyway, that goes onto there, and then of course fuselage goes on there. Simple as steps. Then you've got your elevators and your control surfaces, your flaps go on there, and your air intakes, more air intakes at the bottom there, your front, your two sides there. Now, um, option where you want the flaps open or closed, like so, wheels, your landing gear going down on in there. Now, here you have the. Oh, that's nice. Oh wow, that's great, I haven't seen that. Um, if you're familiar with the 109, it actually had um, a lever winder start the engine up to start the... It's like a starter engine really. And that actually comes with a control lever, that's really nice. Wow. Very nice. Right, that goes on in there, you've got your gun sight going there. Now it looks like for marking option A, you have to remove a part of the armour plating. If you're doing version A, go onto the cockpit there. Um, the canopy, then you get some parts going on there, some extra parts on there before it all goes into one with your arm plated going on there. And then finally your prop going on and of course your radio antenna for the cockpit. Oh and last but not least if you do marking option E, put the bomb underneath like so. And that's it really, yeah, all done. So a very quick build to do and then on the other side here you got your masking for your wheels and your cockpit area. So in all fairness it's a quick small build. So looks like really fun to do really actually. So you got your marking options here. We've got um mark option A. Now this scheme does look pretty fancy, it's the box art one. It's following BF109 BF109 F4 um flown by Hutman, Hans, I see Ham, Freer JG2, and St. Paul and France, October 1941. So that's a quite nice scheme. It's basically just um, the when the one, first 109s, the F version, started flying over the south of England. So that was that's really good, that is. I like that scheme. Very nice. Moving on, you've got this one. Now you do have a lot of. Um, uh, but Operation Barbarossa ones you have here, uh, flown by Ulf's Hans Dobrik, is that right? 6JG56, JG5, uh, Patron of Finland, right, so that's Finland, so that's, I don't know who that, that was against, I do not know, but it's an interesting colour scheme, it looks very nice, interesting. Another white camo. On here, um, flying by Otto Karl, uh, Otto, oh sorry, Otto Kaff, sorry, of JG54, um, Soviet Union, 7 night 41, so that's definitely Operation Barbarossa going on in there. Very interesting green colour. Now, this is a version I may do. Um, you all know, so for you, Aviation Fusiast, you'll know it's, it's, it's um, Hans Mar Hans Jockham Marseille 109 JG27 North Africa February 1942 of course with a desert scheme and I'm not a fan of desert schemes but it looks interesting to do because I've got the um, the G6 the G version so and they all have normal camouflage so I might take a shot in the dark and do this one final two this one with a bomb underneath um, for my Frank Frank Lyson, is it? I don't know. Um, JG2 France 1942. Of course, it must, must be an anti shipping one by the looks of things. There. And your last one is um, another Soviet Union one of um, Victor Banner. Victor Banner. 9 J63 January 19 so June 1942 so oh, that's really it okay of course your final page you've got your stencils going on there and of course yeah extra stuff if you want anything of course your boost resin kits so I don't see why I'd buy a boost resin kits when anything is just absolutely superb 
for advertisement for the Beat the G6 early. That's all right. Very nice. Very nice to read. Very nice to look at. So let's have a look at it. Right. So let's go on with the plastic sprues. Now I'm going to have to have a look at this because from first thought, guys, I have to admit, nice resealable bags. I have to admit, they look exactly the same as the G6 um, plastic they use, kits they used. Just have a look at the fuselage halves first. Now, as you can see, well, I'm just gonna just why oh, loads of things hanging about next to my bench. See if I can zoom you in. Now, as you can see there, I don't know if you can see that or not. There is a lot of rivets going on in there. I don't know if you can see or not. I'm not sure, but Let's see if I can take you further in. There you see there. There you go. All nicely um, detailed in there. Absolutely beautiful. Now I have to say, it. <sighs> wow, it is actually the same moldings they use for the the G6. So it's not not a problem with it. It's like it's just the same thing. So if you built a G6 and you go a bit of G4, you have the same experience as what you have with the two. So nice detail in the cockpit there. Just a bit. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I love those rivets. So having a washer there look absolutely beautiful. So we are. Oh, crap. how lucky. I'm just going to zoom out a bit more. There you go. Let me focus you. Uh, next piece is the cockpit. The, no, not cockpit, sorry. The flat. The, 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 I got my facts right. The wings. Now, having a look around it, it's beautiful. But there's one problem I noticed, there's a pitot tube there, so that is going to get knocked off a lot. So if I was you, when you're building, I'd cut that off, I would. As you see, beautiful. Absolutely, wow, there's a bit, a bit of scrapings, a bit of where the plastic's not being but Wow. Lovely wash effects that will have on there. Now come next bag of sprues. Got your all your sorry about the noise guys. Got all your detail parts going on down in here. Now I say they're not bad. Not bad at all. You even had some gun pod spare going on down there. Drop tanks were that not used in that kit. Wow, I love that prop. I love that spin on the front there. Look at that. Yeah, that's even got rivets on as well. Wow. There you got your cockpit tub at the side there. I have to say, it's a very impressive kit. I'm really looking forward to this kit. Wow. Oh. Wow, that is very nice. So that's it. It's four sprues of plastic and of course we've got one clear piece here so that's your clear piece there canopy all crystal clear nothing problems with it gun sights the pipe I was talking about earlier the armor plating and there and that's got rivets on as well so that's got absolutely beautiful wow 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 put that back in there like that so in theory, the plastic is very nice, like Edward not always do. So we're going to move on to the detail stuff, which um, the Pro Food Pack actually gives you. So we've got our mask sets that they always use. I'm not going to take them out my bag because you can always see them. You have them for your wheels, your I mean your tail wheel, sorry, and of course the cockpit areas. Go up there. Uh, you've got a photo etch here. You've got the main cockpit ones here, and then you've got your uh, other ones here for your radiators. The, that, that's just a normal cockpit one. This is for the super detailed one, which I'll try my best to use. Wow, beautiful. And last but not least are the decals. Uh, you get two sheets in here. One for... Oh, is that... 
Hold on a minute. Is that actually like that? What's that one for? Uh, I've just noticed it looks a bit ripped. What's that, number seven? Uh, okay. Oh, here you go. Um, I see what I see what to do now. That is weird. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, as you can see, for my version, that if you if you get some chipped ones, don't worry about it. That is how they are. So number seven goes there. Six there. I see what they're doing now. Oh, I they had a panic attack. So this one I'm doing. The Hans Marseille ones. There's some chips um, on the swat on the German cross, which are these two. But for all the rest, you got so you got two. Yeah, you got four sets of two of different ones. So that's really nice. Two for the top side, two for the underside. That is. They had a heart attack there for a second. I thought they. Were, I thought my decals were ripped. And of course, you got your stencils down there for everyone. So, in all fairness, it's a brilliant looking kit. I um, have to say, if you think about why these get it because it's going to look brilliant. Now, it's up to you whether you want to get the G6 or G4, but personally, it's up to you. Uh, I've got both in the stash, so I'm just going, I'm going to get on with this one and see where it leads to, I hope. So, if you enjoyed the build, uh, subscribe, like, comment, your thoughts, whatever. All fairness, it's a beautiful kit and I'd recommend this to anyone. So get them while they can before they sell, sell out or whatever. And I shall, yes, I'll, I'll start building it. And I shall see you all later, guys. So once again, cheers and goodbye for now.